Let's turn to, to terrorism issues now. Sure. You were one of those who strongly reacted to the decision for a 48-hour uh, furlough to a uh, convicted member of uh, 17th November yes. uh, terrorist, Dimitris Kufodinas. What is your specific concern about this? So, um, we found the furlough of Mr. Kufodinas um, deeply offensive to the memories of his victims. Um, we respect the independence and integrity of the Greek judicial process, um, but we hope that those who will decide these issues will take into account the sentiments of those who were victims of his crimes. And the this decision man, was lawful. No, it was a lawful decision, but this is a man who was had his day in court, who was tried, who was sentenced severely for the crimes he committed. And you know, every day when I come into my embassy, um, I walk past a plaque with the names of the American diplomats, the American officers yes. who were victims of 17 November. And I am reminded of the fact that um, those are individuals who left behind wives and children, some of whom I hear from from time to time. Um, and there is nothing that will change that. So it's important, we hope, that the judicial authorities in reaching their decisions will take that into account and take into account the fact that this is a man um, who has not r expressed remorse, um, somebody who has not um, sought to distance himself from his actions. Um, I should say, and I, I want to be clear on this, um, we recognize that Greece has been a victim of terrorism, um, both domestic terrorism, but also the way in which international terrorism has washed up on your shores. We have a superb relationship um, with Greek law enforcement, um, with Greek security services, and it's a relationship that makes both of our countries safer. And um, I want to be very clear in expressing our gratitude for that um, but we hope that the courts, as they consider um, people like Mr. Kufudinas, uh, will bear in mind um, the severity of their crimes um, and the way in which these furlough decisions are seen by families and friends of Greece in the United States. But some will say again that this sounds like an interference. No, because it is for the Greek judicial authorities to decide how these cases should be addressed. But I want to use my office as ambassador to make sure that there is no, um, in reaching their legal decisions, that the authorities have a clear understanding of my government's views, which were also expressed by the State Department spokesperson, but again, especially the views of the families, mm -hmm. which, which I hear personally.